Hi everybody, I figured I'd go over a, a little video on the, the porting of this Echo CS4310 SX. It is an odd little cylinder, um, especially when it comes to the strato durations. Uh, they're very, very low if you don't count into effect this little extra hole that they have drilled right there which would allow some backfilling of the strato before it opens at the bottom of the transfer port. Um, normally I see somewhere like around 135-ish or so strato duration, 135 up to about 150 um, on most of the Huskies and stuff like that. These were coming in at like 92 and 98 strato duration. They were slightly different, a little bit less on the exhaust side transfer port than the intake. Um, other things to mention on this are, let's see, the exhaust port was extremely funny shaped to begin with. I have it traced out on the piston here. You can see how much bigger I made the exhaust port. Um, neat little trick is to use like a mechanical pencil to trace that out. Um, but you can see it's it's really V-shaped. It had extremely low exhaust duration, like 137 exhaust duration. We bumped that up to about 150, um, which that's going to be, you know, geez, what would that be? That'd be 105 opening. I think. Um, I took 30 thousandths out of the squish band and this is a, a tapered or it's a, a domed piston so I put the piston in the lathe and then ran back and forth with a with the test indicator until I got trammed out right on that and then cut the squish with a with a boring bar <clears throat> with it you know reverse mounted in the and the four jaw. Um, the transfer duration was about 115 on the exhaust side and 114 on the intake and I've raised them both up to about back to where they were pretty much. Um, yeah. So I've had to raise them up a little over 30 thousandths to get them back to where they were originally because we also tightened up the squish which would affect the transfer duration. Um, I had like 32 thousandths squish to begin with. I'm going to run this one a little tight. Um, it's going to be 18 thousandths hopefully. That's what I shot for. But you can kind of see the transfers down in there. Maybe if I get a, can get a light up here. Oh, disco light. There we go. So I didn't have to widen them much or, or change the direction just a little bit on the intake lip. So just a little bit on the intake side going that way. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Other than that, intake's just kind of a standard intake. I raised up the roof of it just a little bit because I dropped the cylinder. I uh, didn't touch the bottom because it's already getting a little bit too long in the intake duration, if you ask me. It's like up to about 162, uh, which is way more than what I'd like to see. So if the saw is lazy, I'll get back in here and epoxy that up. And that's what the exhaust port looks like now coming in the in coming in from the outside uh, originally the exhaust port width was about 52 percent and I shot for around 65 ish I can measure it here about 145 and 1.075-ish would have been 65%, so I'm probably like 63%, so it's it's good enough. 
Um, I did have one of the transfer caps off just to kind of look at the design of things. So I'll probably pop both of them off and clean them out because they, it does look like some trash can get caught back in them. And there's just a tiny bit of flash that I'd like to remove from the edge of the, the caps down on the intake side. So I'll pop off both caps, remove all the flash, do any kind of thing as I want to do on the inside of those and then pop them back on, seal them back up with like some, like some three bond or something. Other than that, it looks pretty much like a traditional strato saw with the strato ports up there. It is a little bit different since it feeds through a single carb and it relies on the intake butterfly to seal against the manifold to, to separate the fuel from the, the fuel side from the clean air side. Piston, I really didn't do anything to it. I just uh, put some die cam on the top and rubbed it against the squish band until I could see that I was getting a pretty even, consistent hit because I knew I was going to run it pretty close. So that's that. So just a quick little addition. After looking at the case and seeing how the transfers were fed, I did decide to go ahead and raise the the cylinder lip right here, about 200 thousandths, to give it more room to get around. And then just, just take the edge off a little bit on those, on that divider. Knife edging it is not going to get you anything more than just, you know, rounding it off just a little bit. Bull nose is always actually better flow than a knife edge, so... Just thought I'd give that little last bit.